Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we sip and spill the tea on all my favorite things. And we've got another Amazon Affordable Finds. So we're just going to jump right into it. This is from the same brand as the first tea set I reviewed. And this is the round version, but this one is a little bit different and we're going to get into that. Same white pleather, kind of soft pleather outside. It does have one of these kind of fabric handles we've got a zipper and then when we open it up inside we've got a couple things happening on this side we've got our bamboo trivet for our tea tray built into this little pocket and then this cover which protects the rest of your tea set and then inside what comes with it, we have a, believe this is a Zisha shaped teapot, a white one. It's matte. So this one is not shiny at all. And we have a built-in infuser, but it does have some pretty wide holes in there. So definitely meant for larger loose leaf for sure. We have a tea towel. This one is of good quality. It's not that weird microfiber texture that um, I don't like the kind of overly fluffy everything sticks to it. And oddly, they give you three teacups instead of four. Most sets generally come with two or four. So I thought that was a little odd. Um, it does have a plastic insert. I'm going to keep mine because taking this on the road, I don't know if y'all can tell, but Butters is here and he is checking the situation out. But you guys, this one, just like the first one, comes with a ceramic tray. Now, the other one was just a tray, like a presentation, a serving tray. This one is actually a Gong Fu tray. What interests me the most on this, come on, Butters, is it's ceramic. I have ordered, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have one of these from AliExpress. And these ceramic tea trays can be very costly. I'm not even joking when I tell you that the average price for something like this alone is around $30. And they go up from there into the hundreds of dollars, just depending on the quality of clay used, decoration, etc. But a basic one is going to break you for, on average, around $35. That is for a cheap basic one at that Come on, Butters. We're filming, buddy. Come here. You guys, anytime I try to film, it's like they know. Look. Say hi. You know? Nothing? Okay. Sorry. He is like, he follows me everywhere. Okay. So anyway, this one is really nice. This is also matte white. I think it's very classy. The price that I paid for this, so I don't know, you know, Amazon prices go up and down, was $23.99. That alone is the cost of the tea tray. And I actually, before I upload this, wanted to go ahead and buy a second set because the value is so good. Just for the actual tea tray itself. This thing is thick. I don't have um, a ruler on me, but I'll probably leave the information somewhere over here. Um... It is deep, 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 deep. So you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to have some sessions without constantly having to dump out. And I just want you to see aesthetically how cute this thing is. Now the cups, just like in the last set, are matte on the outside and glossy white on the inside, in case anyone is wondering. So the set does fit together nicely. Hey, buddies. Hey, this is just going to be a video where Butters is, he's got to be up in it. So, I'm not going to take too much time. I'm going to show you guys. I thought that this one came with wooden tongs, but actually mine did not. Which I'm okay with that. I already have some. I ordered some more Tao of tea. I've been actually trying all of their oolongs. I've got a green dragon oolong. I'll leave the link down below. I actually purchased this one on Amazon as well. And a little bit of information. This one came from Anchi um, in Fujian, China. And green dragon. 
in the mountains of Anchi County, the home of Oolong Tea. And what I like is it always tells you a little bit about the Oolong. So this one is going to be a little bit of a, oh, come on, focus, a little bit of a greener Oolong, which is actually what I prefer. Now, some of their tins have the extra lid and some do not. I'm not sure why that is. Can y'all see him? Butters. He loves scratching his little whiskers on the side of the short table. And the review for this is coming soon. If it's not up by the time we upload this video. So mainly what I'm going to be checking out. Yeah, Butters. Is going to be the pour of the teapot. What is it? What is it, buddy? Huh? <laughs> he really is a cool cat. He really, really is. Um, I have rearranged my desk and where I keep, um, and my tea area where I keep my kettles. I actually am just keeping one, um, on my tea desk, which is the Wilson's, the white gooseneck one. So anyway, I'm by the window. I'm sitting in the floor using this short table and we're going to be using our Mr. Coffee kettle, which is not the best for Gong Fu, but we're going to, we're going to make that happen. Normally I would have a tea pet, but I felt like the lighting was good. My kids are having a virtual learning day and then start spring break <clears throat> so I just thought well I would take a few minutes I'm also using a new tripod I know I've said this in the last few videos so I'm sorry if that annoys you but <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I want to keep this one or go for a different one just to be able to get some different shots for you guys and let's see how she pours we're going to do a tea rinse We definitely have some dribbles happening. So, you know, for the price point, I'm not expecting a super high quality teapot. Let me just say that. It's going to it's going to definitely do the trick, especially for a beginner. Butters. You're gonna try some of this tea? Hmm? Gotta let your cat sniff the tea, too. So, the pour isn't the best. It's not the worst. It does have some dribbles. But, again, if you're going to be having this on the tea tray, it's not a deal breaker. I still think the quality is really freaking good. Let's smell those leaves on this greener oolong. Yeah, it is definitely green. I don't think you guys can see in this light. Hold on. It does still have a smoky flavor. Sorry, I'm just over here sniffing my teapot. It, it definitely has a, a smoke flavor to it. All right, let's get into tasting. I have to watch the time on my phone because it will automatically shut off after five minutes. And sometimes I just get to talk and don't even realize it shut off. We're going to see how it pours into the teacups. I really do like this set, though. But if you want a high-quality, like, Zisha-style teapot, you guys are going to have to invest, you know, a nice little chunk of change for that. But to be honest, for a beginner or a travel set or a more affordable set, you guys, I would highly recommend this. Highly, highly I don't have the super high master's teapots, but I have some more pricey ones um, for my budget. And, you know, this is still an okay set for me. I would still use this every day. 
I wouldn't, you know, feel like I have to baby it or anything like that. And it's going to get the job done. Now we're about to see, got my tea towel ready. We're about to see if this thing is going to spill everywhere or if it's going to pour nicely into the teacups. But isn't the aesthetic really nice? This one, like I said, is what I purchased first. And um, then I purchased the other Fanquare one. I believe that's the brand. And then from there, I just started purchasing other ones for this little series we're doing on affordable tea sets. Because it is nice to know from a real person, you know, if these tea sets are good or not. Because let's be honest, there are so many reviews on Amazon that are bought. I've had companies try to do that to me. Um, they have so many workarounds. So you, to be honest, you guys, you never really know if a review is, is super duper honest. So I think it's important to make videos on YouTube and show these products and show whether they work or not. So, all right, I think we're going to be good. And it's also important to note on more high end teapots, normally the hole is up here and you can put your finger so as you're pouring you can stop go to the next cup stop go to the next cup but again this is going to be just fine for our needs probably should have moved that cup over here as i'm right-handed it actually pours in the cups pretty well i'm able to make a mess it's still enough room on the tray I like this tea set. I mean, you guys pick one up if you want to. By the time this video posts, I'm sure I would have already bought my second set. I do that with things that I really, really love. I do buy backups. And the tea tray itself is worth it. I do wish they came in more colors, but I'm not complaining. Uh, white is very nice. It'll go with a lot of tea sets if you guys like your tea to be themed. I love this set. Out of all of them I've reviewed so far... This one is my favorite. I can honestly say that. All right. Ooh, this one is good. I think I might have steeped it a little too long. Let's go ahead and pour out that extra. I like this one, but then again... I do, I mean, I like darker oolongs. I like, you know, some of the Formosa oolongs and things like that. I mean, I love oolongs, period, but I really love the greener ones that have a little bit of that sourness to them. This one is good. What is it overly flavorful? Like, does it have a lasting impression? Like, say, a Daggio Masters Tea uh, Yunnan sourcing or may leaf. No, it doesn't, but it's not crap tea either. I definitely think it's media, like medium grade tea. It's not store bought. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not high end specialty tea. It's a good, like medium grade tea. That's good. It does have, it does have a hint of the sourness. Sorry. As I'm sitting here, I'm really not used to always describing how tea tastes, so I apologize for that. But it does, it has a nice sourness, a nice green, a nice green oolong tea base. Ooh, makes the sides of your tongue salivate, which is very, very common in these lighter roasted green oolongs. I'm not getting fruits or anything like that. But a hint of a lightness, almost like a cucumber. I definitely get like this cucumber, almost slight vegetal taste to it. I, I do like this one. I really, really do. This is going to be an easy drinking tea for the summer, especially if you are pairing a tea with a more heavy meal. This is going to be perfect. It is light, medium body juicy makes your mouth water we've got like cucumber green oolong base to it that pop of sour almost like sour candy that's good all right you guys well that is my review on this fanquare tea set i think that so far out of all of them, I know I said this, but I'm going to say it again. This one 
is my favorite. If you were to say, Val, which one of these so far would you would you recommend? I've got about $25. What should I get? If you're into Gong Fu, this is the one. This is the set to get. I think that it packs up nicely. You can take this to entertain, travel, park, office, whatever. This one is the one to get. Now, if you want more less of a traditional Gong Fu tea set, but you just want a beautiful portable tea set, I think the Zen's one is the one to get. That one's been coming in and out of stock, so you guys have to just literally check Amazon every day. But that one is my second favorite. I think that one is a beautiful buy. I think you just have to be careful when you wash it. Um, but this one so far, thumbs up. I have some other sets. I've got a whole box of stuff sitting here for you guys. So I'm going to keep rolling these out and you guys let me know, are you going to be picking this set up? And I'll keep looking for affordable Amazon funds for you guys. All right. Me and butters are going to enjoy the rest of this tea. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, like, and subscribe. If you want some more of uh, Val, I'm uh, very active on Instagram. I try to post every single day that I can. So you guys, head on over to Val's Variety, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.